Hello, welcome back. This is just a very, very quick um, thing that I found last night. I was looking on the Google groups for the Ansible project and I came across um, someone looking for how to get the desired data from JSON. So having a little look at this, you can see he's got his JSON file here. He's had a go at trying to fix it himself. Um, what he's looking to do is to try and find out this information. So the name is CWDS, the username has that and the J and DI has that and he's trying to pick that out of this file. Awful, absolutely hate JSON. Um, I've got better at it over the years, but mainly it's trial and error. So if anyone wants to um, help me out here, <laughs> that's absolutely fine. So I've got it working. Um, I'd love to do it with JSON query. So I've created a GitHub page called JSON Parsing with Ansible. And on here's the example of the, the code and also what I've done to fix it and how it actually meets the requirement. Um, but I swear there's a better way. So if we come along here, let's just clone the repo. Lovely, you should put the volume on silent, lovely. So there's not a lot in here. There's the file itself, but we can use JQ to, to just get it out in the right format. And this is the actual file. So you can see here, it's all over the place. You know, it's not simple. All of those demos that you see are nice flat files <laughs> you know hardly any nesting and you think what so this file here is actually quite you know this is like real life you know this is the sort of stuff that people have to deal with you know and and when you look go through those demos you just can't do it so so anyway, what i've done is i've put together a couple of different ways to sort this out to get that code and um yeah so if we just quickly run it i'm not going to go into too much detail about how i think that if you want to know jason and you look at my code and then you look at this script and you pull the code down and you can do the working out yourself i think that will be very helpful especially how you see that i've pulled it out so if we just play just run one so i've done a one dot yaml and a two dot yaml but the two dot yaml is better than the one dot yaml so i'm just going to stick to that but if you wanted to see the one have a look and have a look at it yourself um, so if you just run the playbook it's nice and quick it all does it local don't worry about the purple uh, i'm just going to put this on silent Okay, so don't worry about the purple, that's just warnings because I'm doing a local host and I'm giving it an inventory list. So it just runs through and you can see here that the source name is CWS, the username is can user, and the JN, JNI name is that. And you can see here that I put it all together, just like he asked for here. He wanted to see this information in that order and that's kind of exactly what I've done here. So I've got the name there, I've got that there, and I've got here. So if we scroll up, we can see that um we keep scrolling so that's cwds that's one of them that's another one there the can user and also that one there so without getting too much detail if we have a quick look at it let's have a look at 2.yaml and firstly we're doing a lookup so he's doing a shell command where he's just catting it and using register to take that all that information as a variable all i'm doing is doing a lookup on the file.json and then using from hyphen .json, underscore json just to put it in to the right format as a as a input variable don't worry about the urls there that was something i was trying to do with a json query i was trying to make this into a json query um for each one and i couldn't quite get it working but if anyone can help me that'd be more than helpful um it's i'll put the um github name in the description for the youtube video so click on there you know like this feel free to pull it and actually you know clone it do an update and then make a pull request because i'd love to see the better ways because i only want to improve people's knowledge of this stuff so if we quickly come back here um yeah we can see that i've used set fact to do to, to actually use the i guess um it's like in a way it's jq but it's basically i've passed the json um, directly from the input variable and depending on whether it's in square brackets or not you have to use these ones or threes even got a three there because it depends on how deep the source is located um, someone else can do a better explanation so so that's pretty much it look at the examples it will give you a lot of insight into how to pull out individual data and I think it will probably help you in the long run so thanks for having a look Obviously, not a lot of detail, but hopefully this guy's now sorted. He can go off and do what he needs to do, and maybe it helps you as well. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.